Hello everybody, welcome to Learning Japanese with Marcelo, Master P. So, um, this is the series that we are uh, introducing verbs and um, to help you guys to um, improve your vocabulary in Japanese. So, along with the verb, we will learn basically the four main forms that you can use the verb in order to create your own sentences, okay? So, today's verb is the verb tsuzuku which means to continue, okay? Um, the kanji is a little bit complicated, but if you notice, actually, it's the kanji of ito uh, and uru, right? So it's not very, like, you know, strange, but um, if you guys are into anime, you will actually notice that um, in a lot of um, chapters, you will see this at the end of the chapter, right? So... This basically means that it's not the end and the story will continue, you know? So, um, next time you are watching uh, an episode, please try to see if the anime doesn't show this, okay? And on the other hand, when it's the end of the, the chapter or the movie, we have the kanji uh, of kangryo, but that's uh, actually for another lesson, okay? So anyway, moving on. Um, the pronunciation um, is a little bit difficult if you are a beginner. Um, actually, it's one of the few, you know, pronunciations that um, I find it hard to learn. Um, my hint to you guys, as I learned myself, was basically um, tsuzu. Uh, so tsu, when you were pronouncing tsu, um, think that is basically the sound of chi and tsu together. So you were saying chi su chi su chi su su So you're saying very fast until you you say actually at once su. Okay? It has to be uh pronounced as one sound su. But uh if you're having difficulties just say su 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 very fast. And then the next one is actually the tsu, but it has the ten ten, right? So the ten ten changes the tsu for zu, okay? Zu. So tsu zu ku, <laughs> okay? So it's a little bit difficult, but uh, with a little of practice, you guys can master it for sure. Um, so let's uh, move on to our um, Phrases. So the first one is our uh, dictionary form, Tsuzuku. So the phrase I have here is Ganbatte shigoto wo Tsuzuku. Ganbatte shigoto wo Tsuzuku. Ganbatte shigoto wo Tsuzuku. Okay? Ganbatte means uh, it's the verb Ganbaru, which is a verb that Japanese people <laughs> absolutely love. Uh, is actually like um, pretty cool. I know it's really hard to translate into other languages because, um, in my opinion, it, it has a very Japanese, you know, kind of um, way of thinking. Uh, basically, it means like to work hard or to. Uh, it could be translated as um, to cope with, you know, something hard or to tolerate. Or, you know, it has this like. Uh, several meanings but basically is to not give up and to keep working on it you know that's the the soul of Kanbaru so Japanese people like say this a lot uh, if you live in Japan probably you will hear it once a, once a day maybe you know like depending what you do for work but it, it's you know uh, as a teacher in Japan I would be using this every day or I would be listening you know people saying uh, this verb um, anyway, um, so gambate means um, to work hard, um, shigoto is your job, and tsuzuku is to continue, right? So it's basically you're saying that you will work hard to continue your job. So uh, this phrase could be used when we are having a conversation about like a job, my job is not very nice or it's really demanding, you know, physically, mentally, whatever, and I'm thinking of quitting my job. But then after, you know, uh, discussing the pros and the cons, I decide that it's actually better to keep working, you know, because I need the money and blah, blah, blah. So as, uh, you know, the end of the conversation, I would say this phrase, Gambate 
まあね、頑張って仕事続くわ。So it could be like this, you know, very in a formal <laughs> Kansai Ben.、Uh, that,、uh, you know, well, I, will, I guess I will just, you know, keep working hard and continue my, my job. That would be the, the meaning here. Okay?、Um, anyway, next one is our masu k e i which is tsuzuki masu. It's an irregular verb, so ku becomes ki. Tsuzuki masu. Tsuzuki masu. And the sentence is. Taihen desu ga renshu tsuzukimasu. Taihen desu ga renshu tsuzukimasu. Taihen desu ga renshu tsuzukimasu. So、uh, we could have the wo in here as well. I just took it out because, you know, when you are actually talking, you don't really say it.、Um, or, I mean, you don't hear it. So you, we kind of, you know, but you can put it if you want to.、Um, And、uh, Rinshu also, okay, one by one. So, Taihen is another word that Japanese people say a lot.、Um, and it has, you know, several meanings, but basically, it, you use Taihen for something that it's hard, it's difficult. So, it's very, you know, kind of, it, it can be like a lot of situations. But basically, something too difficult to deal with, okay? Taihen.、Um, and、uh, Rinshu means lesson or Practice, you know, it has also several meanings. In this case,、uh, we don't have a context in here, but I、uh, wrote it as、um, a lesson,、uh, I would say as a practice, like a, as a、um, sport, you know,、uh, practice or something like that. So it's easier, it makes more sense. So,、uh, whatever sport、uh, you're doing, it's not easy. Like physically, you know, it's exhausting, but you will keep practicing, you will keep working on it because you want to get better at, at it. Okay, so, Taihen desu ga r e n s h u tsukimasu. So,、uh, for example, I used to do、uh, kendo, and、uh, it's very hot in the summer, it's like horrible basically because of the The whole thing you're wearing.、Um, so, this would be a situation that I could use this, you know, like、um, I say, Oh, I practice some,、uh, kendo, and then the person says, Wow, but it's super hot, hot in the summer, right? And then I say, Well, taihen in the sugar in shutsuzukimasu, you know, because I really want to improve at it. Okay.、Um, next one is our negative form, so that would be tsuzu. Kanai, so ku becomes ka, tsuzukanai. And the sentence here is my kai jim wo tsuzukanai. My kai jim wo tsuzukanai. My kai jim wo tsuzukanai. And、uh, my kai means every time.、Uh, jim, jimu comes from、uh, jim,、um, the place. And、uh, tsuzukanai is not con. Doesn't continue, or I can't continue, you know. And so, in this case, is、um, let's say you are trying, you know, when you start going to the gym, you you decide that you're gonna go three, four times a week, or you're gonna have set a, a certain, you know, like a pace that you're gonna follow and, and discipline, but、uh, you just cannot do it. So, every time you do it, You kind of ended up not going or breaking that, you know, like、um, promise you did to yourself, which is something that happens to a lot of people, I believe.、Uh, so, this is what I'm saying here, you know, my kai ji mo tsuzukanai. So, the my kai gives you the, the, the idea that this is not the first time that I've been trying to do this. You know, I, I tried before, I didn't continue, and now, well, I'm kind of in the same path, you know. My kai ji mo tsuzukanai. Okay, last one, guys, is our imperative form.、Um, however, in this sentence here, I'm not using it with that meaning. Okay, so actually,、um, if I would like to use in the imperative form, I could use in the first sentence, Gambate shigoto wo tsuzuite kudasai, as I'm giving somebody a, a suggestion, a advice. An advice, okay? So it would be Gambate shigoto wo tsuzuite kudasai. Now, please.、Um, Do your best and try to continue、uh, doing your job. So, that would be probably a suggestion, a, an advice、uh, that I would say as a boss, as a supervisor. 
Um, but in this case here, um, this is actually a, a, a sentence, a meaning that you would be using a uh, structure, let's memorize as a, a structure, a set of words that you guys would be using, you would be hearing a lot uh, at university or uh, when you guys are uh, listening to presentations, that kind of stuff, okay? So basically it's E ni, E ni tsuzuite tsugi wa meaning uh, following A next we will have, okay? So for example if you guys are listening to a presentation or something like that, um, you will. This could be, for example, Tanaka san ni tsuzuite tsugi wa Honda san ga, ne? Honda san kara kikimasu, ne? So, following uh, Mr. Tanaka, tsugi, we have Mr. or Mrs. Honda uh, talking, okay? So, that would be the meaning here. Tanaka san ni tsuzuite tsugi wa Honda san kara, like that. Or, for example, at school, let's say your professor says, okay, so tomorrow, uh, following the um, math test, we will have a, an English test, okay? So, uh, 明日, eh, 数学の eh, テストについて, 次は英語のテストやりますよ, ne? like that. Okay, so, 数学のテストについて, like that, okay? So actually, it's very convenient if you guys memorize like that, like because you will be hearing it or even using it a lot if you are the one uh, introducing uh, or doing a presentation, okay? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, lesson, this verb, and I see you next time. それではまた、バイバイ!